Hey guys, welcome back. In this video this week, we're going to be taking a look at Street Fighter Jewel, which again is another goddamn mobile game. Albeit, I was kind of hoping this was going to be some sort of new Street Fighter game for console, PC, you name it, so we could have a good bash up. We need a new Street Fighter game, Capcom, come on. But no, Street Fighter Jewel is actually another mobile game. Tencent are involved, who are the guys who are strangely enough behind the Metal Slug. Uh, mobile game which you can view in the card above and that was the video we did last time we were out again another mobile game but with the lack of triple a fighting game content out at the minute uh we're still waiting for obviously guilt gear strive has been put back and still no new word on king of fighters 15 come on snk we're going to be looking at another mobile game now this i was really excited for being a massive street fighter fan this is street fighter duel uh, unfortunately, I, I have searched the web everywhere for a better quality video of this little trailer, which was showcased at a conference. Uh, check it out. Round one, fight! Here is CG Ono. Fortunately, we're not going to be able to understand a word he's going to be about here, but there we are, confirming it's Tencent Game. We'll have a little bit chat about that after this video. Uh, a few comments I got on the Metal Slug video regarding Tencent, which I find quite interesting, but we'll chat about that in a bit. Now that's the new intro trailer what they showcase. This is what I'm interested in. I've seen some of this. I think the artwork. Looks fantastic. I mean, that's the best looking Ken we've had, let's face it, in easily out of the last two iterations of a Street Fighter game. Okay, so we've got some uh, classic stages and some of the stages from Street Fighter 5 by the looks of it. And this looks, it looks three on three, it's three on three base. And Cody. Oh, now, double team. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, the Dark Hadou. Oh. I see some uh, mobile phones getting broke here. You've got to tap to bust through the super. Crazy boss fight. I don't really know what we're seeing here, but... Is it turn-based? And it looks like, obviously, you can also join with friends, I think. That's what was the really floor for screen thing going up there. Look at that that's sick. That is classic Street Fighter artwork. That is brilliant. And a little blanket. Okay, so the uh, the trailer, although we couldn't really understand much, looks pretty interesting. I think the uh, it looks almost like it's going to be a three-on-three -three sort of tag-based game. Um, I would presume that it's turn-based by looking what I've seen. I think the little bit in there where it showed you the four different slides looks like it's almost where your friends can then join in. That's showing you from, I think, from four different, obviously, angles or screens. Looks like there's going to be some good boss battles. But, uh, looks, I can well guarantee. Obviously, there's some sort of form of story mode going through, and then you'll have like the little uh, dungeon battles. Seems very much they've taken a, a leaf, shall we say, out of the King of Fighters All Stars game, which was very, very good for a mobile game. I do, however, like the art style what they've gone with here. It's very classic Street Fighter. Uh, certainly, simply better than some of the stuff we've seen recently. Now. 
this is actually the new footage what they've shown uh in, this year this game actually was announced in two, november 2019 and it did get a bit of panning uh, i have seen screenshots when it looked like they'd almost copied some of the screenshots from i think it's persona 5 um sort of the style of the lobby certainly the lobby system where they're in the uh, underground tram and you select things and also some of the uh character character speech uh, boxes sorry when the characters speak on screen it looked like it just been ripped from straight from that game so they got quite a bit of panning i've seen on social media regarding that and some of the forums on the internet looks like they've got rid of all that and sort of gone their own route with their own style and it looks like it's paying off now my only concern is after we took a look at the Metal slug video uh, a lot of people were sort of saying uh, if Tencent were involved then it's going to be garbage and I've read quite a few bad things about I don't know something to do with life bars and uh loot crates and things like that and how obviously you have to spend your money and sort of may, sounds a bit like a pay to win experience i hope obviously nothing too much comes into this game and it seems like they do a good job however more so i would like to see a triple a street fighter title but obviously i don't think that's going to be coming anytime soon with capcom releasing more content for street fighter 5 champion edition so I think we're getting another five fighters, more costumes and a couple of new stages. So as far as the Street Fighter 6 is on the horizon, I think we can forget about that till probably at least 2022. So, but this thing looks interesting. Uh, as with the Map Slug game, when we get a little bit more footage, you'll see it on the channel. Also this, you'll always see Street Fighter stuff on this channel. That's what it was born from. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed for Street Fighter Duel. And uh, hopefully Tencent will... Uh, make amends for what they've probably done before and this game will be pretty sick on a mobile i for one will be certainly trying it so for all things street fighter duel check back check the videos and as always guys stay safe peace out